What's up calisthenics family, it's Michael here and in this video I'm going to show you the best calisthenics core exercise, the dragonfly. Let's get this video started. into this exercise what is the dragonfly well the dragonfly is one of the best calisthenics core exercises it works your complete core so that includes your abdominals your obliques um, your lower back but also your serratus right here and your lats and this exercise is really good to get stronger in your core but also for other most used calisthenics skills for example the front lever or other static exercises so let's get straight into this exercise. For this exercise you'll need a low bar that we have right over there. Uh, you can also find this low bar at most calisthenics parks or you can use your couch at home. So let's get straight into the first progression of this exercise. All right, so step number one is the tucked dragonfly. So that looks like this. We're gonna grab the bar at shoulder width apart like next to your ears, make sure that your elbows are bent and from here lift your body up right this, try to be as straight as possible. So from here, try to open up your hips and now bend your knees and bring your knees a little bit towards your chest. Something like this and from here we're gonna lower down. So we first start in an eccentric way of training. So that also means that we're gonna do some negatives to get used to this position. One thing that is very important is that your lower back won't touch the ground. So we can do five reps, five negatives. And that's one. Go back up and make sure that you hold the exercise in a negative position for like five seconds. So five, four, three, two, one. All right, so repeat this for five repetitions of five seconds. And if you can do that, you can move on to the concentric way of training. So that is the upward way. So then we're gonna lift up in the exact same position. So that looks like this. Straighten out your legs tuck position and then lower yourself down and get back up. Maybe bring your knees even closer if you have a hard time with this exercise and go down until your glutes almost touch the floor and go back up. So step two is the one leg dragonfly. Now we're gonna make this exercise a little bit more advanced uh, because now we're gonna lengthening our leg and that makes the load of the exercise heavier because we're bringing our body more forward. So, and it also looks more to the full dragonfly. So it looks like this. The technique with this exercise is even more important because you have to really focus on uh, extending your hips forward. So, so straighten out your legs and now one of the biggest mistakes that we see very often is that people are gonna try to do the dragonfly just like this with the hip with the hips closed like this and what you see is that your lower back touches the floor really fast but you want to open up your hips just like this lengthening your core Make your body as long as possible and now go down and do five negatives of five seconds. So that's one. Then use the strength of your lats and your arms to bring yourself up. Open up again and go down for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. So do that for five repetitions, five seconds. And if you can do that, then you can move on to the concentric way of this exercise. Exactly the same 
but now we're gonna raise back up. So it looks like this, get back in the starter position again, one knee in, one leg out, and now go down, maybe halfway, and go back up. If you can do that, you can do it to the, towards the floor. There's three. Four, last one. Five. So after each set, you want to have at least two to three minutes rest because we're working on a strengthening exercise. That means that we want to keep the repetitions low, uh, up to maybe five or six repetitions and uh, take relatively long rest to increase our strength over time. So um, now if you mastered the second variation, the one leg dragonfly, then we can move on to the full dragonfly. So that will be the very last step, step number three. So let's get into the full dragonfly. With this variation, we have to watch our technique even more carefully. So grab the bar. So we start in the start position again, raise your feet up, now with both legs, open up your hips. This, this one is also a really good exercise to get used to this. From this position, opening up, and now we're gonna do negatives. So going down, as controlled as possible until you can't hold it anymore. So you can do this for three to five repetitions. So we can work in a full range of motion. Really focus on compressing the core. That's really important and also activate your glutes. So open up your hips, activate your core and squeeze your glutes and also activate your legs. go down. So once you can do this for five repetitions, then you can work on to the concentric way of this exercise. So let's try it, the full dragonfly. And we can also split this exercise up into two variations, the halfway dragonfly and also the full dragonfly. So after the negatives, you can move on to the halfway dragonfly until 45 degrees like this and get back up. And if you can do this, you can do the full dragonfly almost to the floor. Also in this last phase, you wanna work with five repetitions and do like four to five sets of five repetitions. So guys, that was a real quick tutorial on the Dragonfly, how I personally learned this exercise and also our gym members right here in the gym and all our clients online through our full journey calisthenics plan. If you wanna learn more calisthenics skills, check out our program. It, it also includes lots of other core exercises, which is the foundation of all your strength moves with bodyweight training, with calisthenics, but also in fitness. So guys, um, I hope that this video was very helpful and that you know exactly how to progress from a beginner stage to a like advanced stage uh, towards the dragonfly. So if you're currently working on the front lever, then I would highly recommend you to also add this exercise into your routine because it also works your lats and your serratus really, really good. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope this was helpful. Please leave a like and also subscribe for more videos and I'll catch you guys next week. Peace out. When I found Calisthenics Family and uh, they were offering this program plus the online coaching for a very affordable price. Uh, so I decided to try it. If anyone's looking to start Calisthenics, I would highly recommend this. Uh, it'll, it'll do the same for you. I'm Gordon and I've been with Calisthenics Family for almost three months now and all the time I've had Yannick as my trainer. Uh, like Mike or Yannick can just be like that little extra push to keep you going. You also seen the pictures. I'm really proud of myself that what I achieved in the last eight weeks.
go for it and start your journey.